All right, the FCC has a new map, and they say they have mapped every single address in the U.S. with what type of ISPs or Internet service providers they have available to them. The problem is, it's not right. And there are ways that you can actually submit for your address what is the correct information. So that's what I'm going to talk about and show you today. So first, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about it. And really the big driver to this is there was a recent infrastructure law passed by Congress and that allows for 42.5 billion with a B dollars to go towards uh, internet service providers and getting them out there and that's really to try to fix a lot of our dead areas in the US our areas that are really underserved and don't have true broadband capability which I will tell you I don't know if I could live and perform my my day-to-day -day activities without high-speed internet so what they've done is in the past they've relied on the internet service providers to give them data of who they serve and how fast the connection is the problem with that of course is that you're relying on the Fox to watch the hen house and the other problem with that is that the um, data was collected by census block so the US census collects all types of information and they break it up into blocks and that's that's the smallest segment that they will define for demographics you know all kinds of stuff in there in in the traditional sense a census block might be truly a city block in the urban area so you know um, that would be a fairly confined space but as soon as you get out into the countryside, outside of the big cities, a census block now might be a couple square miles, it might be several square miles. Or if you get out into the middle of nowhere, uh, in the middle of uh, Wyoming or Nebraska, it might be even hundreds of square miles and not even have a house um, inside of that um, census block, actually. But the point is, if they provided one address in that census block, their service they would mark that whole census block as having that level of service. So that means that a lot of houses were actually underreported in the past, and so now their new one actually has every address by itself, and they are calling out for both the traditional ISPs, which is like cable, DSL, fiber, that kind of stuff, as well as the mobile ones, so the new 4G, LTE, and 5G based uh, service providers that give you uh, wireless home internet as well as the satellite um, ones for both the traditional satellite as well as like Elon Musk uh, Starlink satellite so let's go into my address and show you what they say I get and then I'm going to show you I'll tell you what I actually get and then we'll go in there and show you how you can challenge what they have in that map and you only have until January 13th of 2023 to provide this feedback for this initial pre-production draft version. All right, so here is their website. It's broadbandmap.fcc.gov, and that will bring you here to this main page, and you can see you can search by your address. So that's probably the most logical thing to do is to type in your address. Um, you can see in the background there, that's the US, obviously, and you can see uh, the dark blue areas. That's the best service, and then the light, our white colors are no service at all. So you get a general idea from a high level of where you get good service and where you don't in the US. But we can go in here and we can search for a specific address or location and um, go in closer. So I'm just gonna click on location. And this is going to bring up the map um, in a little bit more detail. Now you really do have to zoom in pretty far in order to get especially a single address. All right, so I just zoomed in and each green dot is a house and they put the green dot where the house is at, not like up at the road. And that's important, especially for the wireless stuff because uh, my house, for example, is like a thousand feet off the road. So you might actually get different levels of service based off that change in location. Now, you can also click off of the green dot and then it gives you a little option to challenge the location. And that would be needed if your um, house our business is at a wrong spot relative to where the green dot is shown so that's something that you can adjust there as well on the left side there there's a layers icon and you can click that 
and you can change the um, the map to like a satellite map or whatnot if you wanted to see uh, buildings better. So uh, for here, if I look um, down here at my options and I'm under the fixed broadband, you can see that it says I have AT&T, I have uh, Comcast, I have HughesNet, uh, Space Exploration, so SpaceX, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Viastat. So it is true, I get uh, T-Mobile home internet here, 5G. Uh, what's interesting is that they show that it's 0.2 <laughs> megabits per second down and up. I get way better than that. I don't know how that 0.2 is listed there or why it's listed there, but it is. They show Verizon, and they show that one as a 50 megabits per second down and 4 up. I get more like 250 or 300 megabits per second down and 20 to 30 up. And uh, I get about the same with T-Mobile, especially if I have my external antennas hooked up. So the satellite ones, the HughesNet and Viastat, I haven't even tried them. I have um, honestly no interest in them, in those, um, those old school satellite ones, because of the limits that they have. Um, SpaceX, I haven't been willing to try that one, but you can see that that one shows 100 megabits per second down and 10 up, so that's good speed. Um, AT&T, I have had, and that is correct. I do have 25 megabits per second down and 5 up with that one, and uh, that one's true. Comcast, however, shows that 1,200, so 1 1.2 gigabits per second down and 35 up. That is only if I pay them to uh, do what they call a network extension. And uh, the last time I got a quote for that a couple years ago, it was $18,000. So that was not just for running the line from my um, house to the road, but actually for them to upgrade their system to handle another node. So I'm going to challenge that and say they don't offer that to me. Um, without a substantial cost on my part to upgrade their system. So that's something that I would think that this government funding would provide for Comcast and other ISPs to expand their network capability to service more of these addresses out here in the countryside. So to do that, I can, um, I can go here and challenge, but, but I guess to show um, some comments there, I'm going to switch to the mobile broadband and just show you here, it does give you a little bit more details here where it shows you, if I go to mobile broadband, it shows me I get 5G NR, which is you know just the, the 5G um, signal for AT&T, HughesNet, T-Mobile, and Verizon. AT&T, as far as I know, does not offer, um, when I've checked, does not offer their home internet service at this address. They, I mean, I get signal here, but they don't offer the home internet. So... I'm going to challenge that as well. So you can see here in the top right of that, there's a challenge button I can click. And so I'm going to first go back here and challenge this um, availability challenge. And I'm going to select the Comcast. And I'm going to say that I don't get it. And I'm going to tell them exactly what I just told you guys about um, only getting it if I pay them to upgrade their network. So that's something I can fill out right here, and um, hopefully that will get updated and that will go in their system. And I'll go here into these other ones, and if I have a problem, in fact, I'll, I'll probably challenge the T-Mobile one and tell them that it's faster than the point .2 uh, just to get it updated and, and include that. And so what the FCC is going to do with this information is as this information comes in and gets aggregated as a whole, they'll see where there are places that are underserved and then that's where they can help direct funds. So really it's to your advantage if this oversells your service availability to go in there and update it and then that way it's going to be more realistic and your local representatives in Congress, the ISP companies and others can know where to put this money. My township actually does you know, a um, master plan map, and they show um, one of their things is internet um, service provided in their different areas, and they're talking about it in one of their meetings that they have really good, they don't need to do anything about it. But I was in one of these census blocks that showed I had this gigabit service availability, and I was struggling to get over 25 megabits per second 
with my AT&T DSL, and that was before I found the uh, 5G home internet stuff that, that did help out um, to fill that in. But the point was, I contacted my local uh, congressman and tried to explain to them, because I knew this infrastructure law was coming in, that, hey, I don't get as good of service as they say I do. And I would like to, you know, make a point of that. And I never heard anything back from them. So I'm hoping with this FCC uh, process here, this is the right way to voice our concerns and get um, that information out there so that something can be done about it. So uh, make sure you take a uh, check on that. And um, let me know in the comments below if yours is way underreported, if it's uh, overreported. And um, we'll see what uh, happens as we go forward in this journey to see where the money gets allocated and what types of changes happen here in the U.S.